Travelers often get pegged as street bikes dressed up for off-road adventures, prioritizing rugged looks over real off-road capability. And usually that reputation fits. But Royal Enfield's Bear 650 aims to break the mold, promising more than just a brown seat and knobby tires. Building on the foundation of the INT650, the Bear introduces significant changes. New wheel sizes, improved ergonomics, a taller subframe, upgraded suspension, and reinforced frame components designed to handle rough trails. Still, the perennial scrambler question lingers. Are these changes purely aesthetic, or do they truly enhance both on- and off-road performance? Originally, Royal Enfield planned to launch the Bear in Big Bear, a mountain town whose name perfectly matched the bike's adventurous spirit. However, wildfires in Southern California forced a change of plans, relocating the event to Palm Springs. Known for its wind turbines, golf resorts, and mid-century modern charm, Palm Springs offers a striking desert backdrop and is a favorite getaway for Los Angeles residents. On the morning of the ride, we gathered to inspect the bikes before hitting the road. The Bears' design immediately caught our eye with its clean, classic lines, highlighting the frame and the flat-bottom gas tank for a look that's both simple and appealing. With helmets strapped on and engines fired up, we set off. Compared to the INT650, the Bear 650 feels distinctly more upright and trail-ready. Foot controls are set farther back, handlebars rise higher, and the redesigned seat is contoured to complement the taller suspension without dramatically increasing seat height. Wheel sizes shift from the INT's 18-inch front and rear to a 19-inch front and 17-inch rear setup. The rear shocks gain an extra inch of travel over the INT, and a 43mm Showa inverted fork brings similar benefits to the front. These changes also boost ground clearance from 6.9 to 7.2 inches, improving cornering clearance and off-road capability. It's clear from the start, the Bear isn't just about appearances. The question is, how well do these updates translate to real-world riding? In town, the Bear 650 feels much like its sibling, the INT650. As a six-foot for rider, I found the ergonomics to be comfortable and accommodating for my long legs, though the INT setup is equally comfortable. However, as we began climbing toward the mountain town of Idlewild, the Bear started to reveal its unique character. The road to Idlewild is a series of tight, twisting curves, a perfect testing ground for the Bear's enhanced lean angles courtesy of its taller suspension. The bike feels eager to dive into turns, and the extra clearance means you can push harder without worrying about scraping foot pegs. However, the ride isn't without its quirks. The rear shocks, adjusted to the lightest preload setting, still feel stiff, transmitting mid-turn bumps that can disrupt your line. Thankfully, the 43mm inverted Showa fork is well-tuned, soaking up the rough patches where the rear suspension falters, and it doesn't hurt that the gold finish adds a touch of flair. While riding hard through the curves, the improved ground clearance is a welcome change, though the trade-off is noticeable in stability and ease of handling. The stiff rear suspension can unsettle the bike, making it less forgiving when pushed to its limits. When we pulled off onto a short trail for photos, it gave us a chance to sample the Bear's off-road potential. On hard-packed dirt, the bike feels confident and composed. The model-specific tires, reminiscent of Pirelli Scorpion STRs, feature shallower tread depth and closely spaced blocks, prioritizing road performance and minimizing noise. However, the moment the trail turned sandy, the front tires struggled, pushing rather than cutting through the surface and causing instability. The fork, while excellent on asphalt, bottoms out quickly on sharp bumps. It's at this point you realize that, despite its rugged looks, the Bear might lean more towards style than substance in off-road scenarios. We stopped for lunch at a picturesque park filled with towering oak and cedar trees, a perfect spot to admire the Bear's aesthetics. Its clean, classic design shines, with exposed key elements and a tidy layout around the engine. The cables and hoses are neatly routed, giving the bike a polished, uncluttered appearance. Visually, the Bear is undeniably appealing, even if its off-road performance is more limited than its adventurous styling suggests. Of course, it does suffer the one affliction that all RE bikes do. Thick graphics under paint have clearly visible lines around them, 
which looks low quality and detracts from the overall feel of the bike up close. We finished up our sandwiches, threw our gear back on, and it was back down the hill to Palm Springs. The road down the mountain consists of large, sweeping turns with dynamic views of the desert below. It's absolutely stunning, but it's also the only way down the mountain and tends to be riddled with traffic. Not this time, we were lucky. Rake on the Bear has been relaxed to 26.1 degrees, compared to 24 degrees on the INT650. So tip-in takes more effort, and maintaining your intended line takes a little more pressure to the inside bar. That stiff suspension is just a little too reactive when you're leaned hard into a turn and test the rider's skill. If there was more rebound damping, we could live with the stiffness. As it is now, suspension performance is unbalanced front to rear. Yet it's wildly fun to ride this way and just let it sort of wiggle beneath you. We pulled back into Palm Springs and split lanes back to our hotel. The Bear 650 is a fun bike to push, but it feels like it needs some pushing in every setting. On road, it's not as stable or planted as the INT650, and off-road on anything other than simple hard pack, it just feels out of place. While the Bear's off-road chops are mostly aesthetic, Enfield's frame reinforcements and updated ergos are very nice, and now give Scrambler customizers a much better platform to start with. The 2025 Royal Enfield Bear 650 delivers a blend of performance tailored for both urban streets and light off-road adventures. Powered by the same 648 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine as its INT650 sibling, the Bear maintains the smooth, linear power delivery and characteristic exhaust note that have become hallmarks of Royal Enfield's twin platform. Producing approximately 47 horsepower and 38 lbft of torque, the engine is well suited for a variety of riding conditions. Paired with a six-speed gearbox and a slip assist clutch, it ensures seamless gear changes and a user-friendly experience, whether you're tackling twisty mountain roads or cruising through city traffic. The Bear sets itself apart with its revised chassis and suspension setup, designed to handle more adventurous terrain. The taller 43mm Showa inverted front fork and longer rear shocks provide increased suspension travel and ground clearance, boosting its capability on uneven trails. The updated suspension also enhances cornering clearance, allowing riders to confidently lean into turns without scraping foot pegs. While the stiffer rear shocks can feel a bit jarring on bumpy roads, the front fork compensates by absorbing rough patches with ease. The Bear's 19-inch front and 17-inch rear wheels, combined with model-specific tires, strike a balance between off-road grip and on-road stability, although sandy or loose surfaces reveal its limitations. Thank 